Hey guys, this is Atul from Team K Tonin Academy and in this video we're going to talk about how to install Azure command line interface or CLI on Windows and this will be later used or required for Terraform. So we are using this in order to create or use Terraform to automate the cloud build or in specific Azure cloud build. So uh, one of the step you need to have, there are multiple things you need on your laptop or if you want to develop your code or if you want to automate the Azure cloud build on your laptop. So for the first thing you have is Azure CLI. There's another thing you need is the Terraform software itself. We'll cover that in a separate um, video on all the things that you need. But for now, let's look at how to install Azure CLI on Windows. That's one of the prerequisite if you are writing your Terraform code and testing it from your laptop. So the installer or steps are quite straightforward. I'll put it this link in the uh, in the description of this video and it will also be available on the portal. So all you need to do is come directly here and say install the latest version of Azure CLI and click on this CLI here or this one. It will download if you open and save open it. It will open or download the software for you. I've already downloaded this software. And all you need to do is just double click and install on this. So I've already downloaded this software here and say Azure CLI, double click on this here. I will now install the command line interface for us. So give it a minute or two. Say I agree to terms and conditions, click on install. And that's how simple it is. You need admin privileges, you say yes. And then finally, once it's installed, we are going to test it by running AZ space dash dash version. Now once installation is done, you'll come, it will open a page like this, which says um, the CLI uh, Azure. Now in order for us to test this, that we've installed CLI, you go to command prompt and then say AZ and dash dash version and hit enter. And then it'll tell you the version. And then in order to log in, Let's go to the documentation page. I'll put it this in the description. So we've just checked that the version is 2.36. And then in order for us to log into this and so that we can access the, or this CLI can connect to my Azure portal. For that, you should already have an Azure account. Now, how to create an Azure account? We've already done that in one of the previous videos. And if you've not gone through, I'll highly recommend you to go through and create an Azure cloud trial account. So this is how, if you see, I've already have an Azure trial account here. So what I need to do is I'll say simply AZ and then login. When I'm going to say that AZ login, it's going to open up a browser for me to prompting for login. So you're going to pick up your user ID or the email ID that you've used to register for this uh, account or cloud account. And then because I've already logged into this, it's saying you've already logged in and then it will redirect me to the CLI documentation page. And I'm here now on, if you look at my AZ login, it'll say that, so I've logged in successfully here, but the following tenant, tenant doesn't contain any accessible subscription. So it is unable to find the subscription, but uh, this shows I've at least logged in. How to add subscription or how to create subscription, we can cover it in, or I'm going to cover that in subsequent lessons. But for now, you have accessed your Azure login on or connecting from this Azure CLI. Now, how to use the same thing from Terraform, we'll cover that separately or from uh, the Terraform ID, which is Microsoft Visual Studio code that we are going to use to write our Terraform code. Uh, we'll cover that separately. So that completes how to install Azure CLI on your laptop, which you'll be using to configure the Terraform or, or write the Terraform code using the Visual Studio code that I've covered in one of the previous lessons here using Visual Studio code. With that, this is Atul from Team K20 Academy. If you've come so far and have installed this as your CLI, put it in our WhatsApp group that you have completed this lab successfully. And this will inspire others to do this lab and also tell me that you're making progress. And, and I'll see you in another lesson.